The woman pushed to her death at a New York City subway station has been identified. Plus, about 4,000 people got the wrong dose of the Pfizer vaccine at a local medical center. I'll tell you where. That and more news coming up. She was from the Bay Area. On Saturday, a woman died after being randomly pushed onto subway tracks in New York City. She's been identified as 40-year-old Michelle Go, a Bay Area native. She was born in Berkeley and grew up in Fremont. Her family says she was in New York getting her MBA. In a statement, the family wrote, We hope Michelle will be remembered for how she lived and not just how she died. Two vigils, one in NYC and the other in San Francisco, were planned for Tuesday. I had friends who went to high school with her. As I was talking to them, we just felt compelled that we really need to do something here to honor her memory. It feels random, but as a member of the community, you realize that it keeps happening over and over and over again. The suspect was identified as 61-year-old Simon Marshall. He's been arrested and is facing murder charges. So far, investigators believe the fatal attack was not racially motivated. In other news, if you got a Pfizer vaccine at Kaiser Permanente's Walnut Creek Medical Center last fall, you may have received the wrong dose. The healthcare provider says roughly 3,900 people who got the shot between October 25th and December 10th received too little of the dose. Kaiser says the reduced dosage size was a result of miscommunication among staff. Patients who've been affected can request an additional vaccine if they want. Okay, quick FYI, the government's website to order free at-home COVID tests launched today sooner than expected. It was supposed to be up and running on Wednesday, but people say they were able to place orders as early as Tuesday morning. This is the website. If you want to find out how the process works, how many tests you can order, how long it'll take to get them, click this tab on our homepage. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.